Welcome, welcome, welcome to Big Empress Tarot. How are you guys doing? Hey, Virgo. It is your zodiac reading that I'm presenting to you all today. All right, God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels, spirit guides of the white light. All right, so some of you all could have been feeling uh, stuck. Uh, but now you guys are, are you going to, you know, just been scared to take a risk at one point? Not anymore. You guys are willing to, to take that risk now. Or if you were wondering, should I take this risk? Uh, you should. Uh, some of you all have just been holding on to your security and stability and not wanting to take a risk. If you're wondering if you should, yeah, you should take this risk. If, if it's love, it's going to be worth it. Okay? All right, so Virgo, you guys are ready. Let's get started. What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? Queen of Wands. All right, so we have Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries energy, um, Virgo. So y'all can be dealing with those signs, or you could be in the Queen. Did I say swords? I meant to say wands. You could be in the Queen of Wands energy, which we know the Queen of Wands energy is someone who is very seductive, someone who is very, um, Who's very determined, courageous. Um, this is the type of queen that if you're her friend, her lover, or whomever, she has your back 100%. So this is someone who is definitely believes in loyalty, uh, who will stick up for you if it's to uh, help you with things. This is the person who is going to be by your side helping you take action towards those things. And she's like that for herself. She's a go-getter. She goes after what it is that she uh, wants. And she's very determined and will not stop until she gets it. This is someone who is very motivational as well in the upright she is. Um, but uh, she's someone who can manifest. She's a great manifester as well, the Queen of Wands. All right. So let's see what we got for the Queen. Oh, okay. What we have for the Queen of Wands? What's going on when it comes to Virgo? What's going on? Some type of collaboration, um, an offer could be coming in. Didn't he come out? Didn't he just come out? So this is some type of love offer. This is some type of love offer, Virgo. You have some type of love offer that's coming in. And then we have the King of Cups. This is someone who is very understanding. So if you have a Queen of Wands with a King of Cups, this person is going to uh, basically balance out the fire in this queen of wands person because the king of cups is someone who is very sweet very understanding they are very in tune with their emotions so like let's say if the queen of wands is having a bad day this king like being fiery because the queen of wands is fiery if she's in her fiery mode this is the type of person who's going to come with their balanced emotions and just you know calm and soothe this queen of wands down but there's some type of collaboration with uh these two this king of cups wants to be with this queen of wands energy so somebody is interested in you virgo um like i say the queen i mean the king of cups is someone who is very understanding compassionate um, this is a family uh, man. This this person loves like family oriented things. Uh, very good with kids. Um, this person is this is the more, most feminine king of the bunch, but they understand feminine energy. Um, and so this person is easy like when it comes to women, easy to relate to. A lot of women like this king. Um, they like the the 
the other kings too but this one this one relates better to women than the other kings so um all right Virgo give me something on this king of cups king of cups Mr. Lover Lover <laughs> with the fire queen oh it looked like it wanted to come out in the reverse but it was like no oh so this king of cups could be uh getting out of a situation uh where oh now who we have on the board we have capricorn we have um cancer scorpio pisces and scorpio so yeah this king of cups is leaving a situation that he worked on it i'm here he gave all the emotions that he could give he gave everything and every time he tried to work on whatever the situation was it just was not working and so let's see he's leaving a situation this king of cups is leaving a situation that no longer uh is emotional, emotionally stable for him. Give me some on the three of pentacles. Yeah. Uh, we have Cancer again. Um, Cancer Scorpio heavy on the board. But this, uh, whatever this collaboration is, or this contract whatever it is somebody was taken advantage of in some type of situation what does this have to do with the queen of wands it's justice justice is going to be served in this situation the empress and the eight of swords because the truth is coming out about uh is it the Queen of Wands that was being taken advantage of or somebody was just like inconsiderate of somebody's feelings and I'm guessing that's why the King of Cups is walking away. I'm going to clarify more. Let's see. Give me something. Uh, I was saying the King of Cups. Yeah, because this King of Cups discovered that they were being taken advantage of by I guess whoever they were in a relationship with before and now this person Aries energy now this person is ready to take charge and go towards what they know is better for them this king of cups person look justice and y'all saw me justice at the bottom of the deck yeah so this person is going to um balance i remember i was saying how the queen of cups and the king of cups, cups they balance each other out this person justice is going to be served for uh these two give me something with the four of cups taking advantage of and considering not seeing what god has for yeah this was a collaboration that was like that went bad. This was like a betrayal. Somebody uh, betrayed someone. Oh, a whole family dynamic. Virgo, yeah. It, it, this could have been your family, Virgo. Well, because you know, sometimes the Queen of Wands is the mistress. So did this Queen of Wands try to ruin your family? Or did the King of Cups betray you, Virgo? Yeah, because this is a, a ending. Like somebody was like just oblivious to somebody's feelings and what they brought to the table and so 
they like ruined a whole ten of pentacles relationship is the man with his he's on his back see this is the masculine energy with the sword so this could have been like a lot of gossip uh, going around and it ruined someone's I'm here reputation definitely ruined uh family dynamic and this was a successful uh or could have been a very successful family situation whoever this is or whatever the situation is this collaboration this was something that there was a lot of effort uh material energy put into this family dynamic this could have been a family business as well i don't know why i'm hearing that but somebody was not right on how they did this contract or this collaboration yeah the chariot Somebody has gained their willpower and has decided to move forward from this situation. And I, I'm, it's the King of Cups. The King of Cups no longer with the High Priestess with the Fool. Yeah, this person knows that it was time to have a new beginning. Like start on a, a, just a new clean slate. She got a little bag with a little dog. I told you the Queen of Wands is loyal. And like, I'm out of here. Oh, wow. With the four. Uh-huh. This King of Cups. Look. Put an end to that being stuck and stagnant and holding on, not taking a risk. And it caused a transformation. And so now this King of Cups is ready to offer their love to this uh, Queen of Wands energy. Because whatever they was dealing with before was built on a false foundation. It was something that was not stable. It was not secure. This is, again, it was, it, it, shit blew up. It blew up. That's why we have the Ten of Swords with this. That's like, like it was ruined. It's like it's no going back to whatever this situation is. And now this person is moving along to what God has for them. The wheel is turning after this tower. What goes up must come down and vice versa. Vice versa. And so this person is moving on. It's, oh, the levels. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all. The lovers, yeah. This is a God-ordained union that's uh, happening. The lovers cannot, cannot make it out. Yeah, I'm going to use the island cards and Doreen to clarify for this one. Yeah, this is a, uh, look at them. This is a, a, a choice that has been made in love and this is a, a equal partnership where these two are going to love each other equally and they're going to step into what god has for them which is a divine connection this divine masculine divine feminine energy here all right so let's see the island cards I'm going to do something for the Queen of Wands and the King of Cups. Queen of Wands. Photograph. I just heard faded pictures and... Oh, that's broken glass. Oh, no. Like a memory, baby. So you on this person, my Queen of Wands, a Virgo. I'm, I'm, she just right here, so that's why I said that. 
looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia. They want to make new memories. That's why that song popped up. And then it says, girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So some of you uh, with the Queen of Wands, you, you've moved on. You've moved on and someone is missing you. And it's saying, you know, talk with your friends, you know, about this. Uh, because this, this King of Cups has made a discovery when it comes to you to where they're wanting to offer you this cup. Cupid's arrow. <laughs> have faith. Have faith. It says, have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation on meeting. Hesitation. Yeah, because this King of Cups has been through it. it. But to have the Ten of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles, oh my God, that is like ruin, 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 betrayal. Oh my God. It's over. It's over. So now this person um, has ended whatever that situation was. Because uh, Virgo, they didn't see you for who you were or you didn't see this person for who they were. So we have, oh, Give me something on the King of Cups. Give me something on the King of Cups. Uh oh. Competition. Let's see. We got the snake and the golden mirror. It says self absorbed narcissist. One-sided relationship, love bombing, competition, enemy, clever, this is the snake, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. And this is for the king of cups. Oh, wow. So whoever this king of cups was dealing with, this person... Whoever the other woman, because it says the other woman, this person put up like a golden mirror so that this king of cups could see them as like golden when all along this person was a snake. Um, whoever this person was, they were very clever. Uh, but this was the type of person you had to look over your shoulder with. And this king of cups tried with whoever this person was, but they discovered who they were dealing with. Like I said, uh, this King of Cups was taken advantage of when it came to this person. Mm, with the chaser. Yeah, now this person, whoever this, whoever this person was that this King of Cups was dealing with, look at her. The chaser. She coming after him. Chaser and codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Yeah, whoever this uh, King of Cups was dealing with, Virgo, just be prepared that that other person ain't going to just leave like that. This person is coming and because this person don't want to be by themselves. And they like to stay in codependence. That's messed up. All right, give me something on the Queen of Wands. Pay attention to the red flag. Yeah, soulmate. Yeah, just be careful. Um, it says the signs are cautioning you. Be careful with this. And then it says soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So be careful when it comes to this snakish person that's uh, surrounded by with this king of cups. Make sure that this person ends this properly. So that way it doesn't spill over into this situation. What's at the bottom? 
flirt is upside down and then it says very soon clearly decide what you want so it comes to you so you and this person virgo don't just you know go straight to the <laughs> the boom boom room but don't you know don't just go straight to flirting and trying to you know be with each other like that no 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 y'all need to talk and you need to ask this person like what is going like what is really going on because it say pay attention to the red flags give me something for the king of points keep an open mind And honeymoon so it says, it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and honeymoon enjoy the bliss of the holiday together right because I put that on the snake I want to do that yeah because um when you think about the king of cups and the queen of wands they are like total opposites that's like water and fire um and so virgo or cross watcher whoever uh resonates with the queen of wands if you were dealing with a king of cups you all are i'm mean, y'all gotta be total opposites because you have someone who will just is fiery who will just you know blow up or you know gonna say what's on their mind very you know outspoken whereas the king of cups thinks about what he's going to say before he says it because he's worried about other people's feelings and, you know, stuff like that. That's that's the opposite. Um, but what it's saying is keep an open mind because you guys are different. And you all may be spending, what is the next holiday? We just had Memorial Day today. Happy Memorial Day, by the way. We just had Memorial Day today. So what, the next is the 4th of July? Okay. So some of y'all probably even spent today with this person. If not, the next holiday, which is the 4th of July. Um, it says, enjoy the bliss of the holiday together. I want to know about this red flag. But look, it says, passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yeah, because they're going to be, it's going to be passion. So I'm thinking from now until the 4th of July, that's like a month away. Yeah, a little over a month, is, is, which means that'll give you guys time to kind of work on it. So by time the 4th of July get here, which is the next holiday, you guys can, it says passion, true love, new love, and separation, and worth waiting for. Passion, true love, new love, separation. So, yeah, this person has definitely uh, separated from someone and they went through the ringer with this person. This was a snakish person that they was with. Um, and they know that you are the true new love. And like I said, get, don't just rush into bed with this person. Give it time. Um because it, there's some red flags. Let's see what are some of the red flags. What does Virgo need to be aware of with this? What does Virgo need to be aware of? <laughs> marriage. Marriage. The situation involves a marriage, but they separated. They're separated. They're separated. So just, yeah. Um, because this person, whoever this person is dealing with, this this snake that this King of Cups got or had. Look, this is the King of Cups. Look how this snake is coming for that, uh, coming for him. I'm going to pick up. This is the King of Cups. This is the King of Cups. This is how the cards was. Look how this snake is, like, coming to strike and put her venom in him. All right, Virgo, this concludes your reading. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. Also, uh, if you want a personal reading, everything will be in the description box below. Have a great day, great night. Be blessed.